What's going on, my friends of YouTube? It's me, Ben, coming back to you for episode three of season five, Royal Rumble. First two rumbles were pretty exciting. We had a video game rumble and an all McDonald's rumble. This main event rumble today is just a randomized rumble with just different characters that we have yet to see on this channel so let's see who is good and who may be able to come back later on in the season or maybe none of them will come back so let's see who got number one Corey Feldman at number one Any of us that grew up in the 80s knew Corey Feldman from, obviously, Gremlins, the fir first Gremlins movie, um, The Goonies, obviously, and then as a teenager, him and Corey Feldman, or Corey Feldman and Corey Haim, sorry, um, the two Corys starred in a whole bunch of movies together, and then... As an adult, Corey Feldman, I guess, has um, his own rock band. I've never heard any of his stuff. And um, he's a huge Michael Jackson fan. Um, the way he dresses now and just those outfits. Wow. So let's see how well Corey Feldman can do in this all for one rumble at this point of the stage I have not thought of a name for this rumble so maybe something exciting will happen in this rumble and that will be the name of this rumble Alright, enough, enough, enough. Let's get on with your first opponent in this rumble. I wonder if his entrance will be longer than how long he'll be in the actual match itself. Finally, we get to see who number two is. Oh, he gets to keep the hat on while he wrestles. Quite interesting, and the glove too. Making a return into the Rumble, Homie the Clown. But this Homie the Clown has a different look than what we have seen Homie in past Rumbles in the earlier uh, seasons of the Rumble, uh, the Homie the Clown that we had in previous Rumbles was kind of a Santa Claus looking outfit. This one, he's actually in a clown outfit. So, let's see how well this Homie the Clown does. And in a way, he's mocking Corey Feldman. Because he's got the one glove on. It's not as glittery as Corey's, but... Still, it's in a way, it's mocking Corey Feldman. And he takes Corey Feldman down just like he was nothing. Corey with a counter. Corey with a slap to the face. Homie ain't going to take that. Homie, don't play that. Look at that. Shoulder tackle from Homie onto Corey. And in four seconds, we're going to find out who number three is. Black Belt Jones. A character from the 70s. Black Belt Jones. And is this it for Homie? No. <clears throat> homie is safe for a minute. And what is Feldman doing here? He has... Like, um, ankle twist lock on Homie the Clown at the moment. Black Belt Jones 
just kind of in the back, kind of watching. Now he uses his knee. Number four, we have Dracula. Hopefully it's nighttime at this arena and the sunlight won't come in and melt Dracula away. So at the moment we have Corey Feldman, Homie the Clown, Black Belt Jones, and Dracula. Who's next? This is pretty exciting because we don't know who is any of these people. Now, I do not remember adding Paul the Alien to this whatsoever, and Dracula's done. Um, this rumble was supposed to be all about uh, new characters, not old characters. Well, okay, Homie the Clown's an older character we used to have, but a different look, but um, I don't know how Paul got, how I missed that when I put these participants in. Oh, Paul snuck into this rumble. We got Big Mama in. So, I guess we're going to keep Paul in this rumble. Instead of restarting the rumble and seeing the mistake I made, I'll just keep him in. So, Paul got very sneaky. Maybe he got tired of sitting and catering, waiting for his chance to be in a rumble again. And took advantage, took out whoever it was supposed to be, and came in the rumble, and maybe he'll dominate it. We got Carl. Yes, we've had Carl in the past, but not this Carl. This is a different looking Carl. The Carl that we've had was more realistic looking, more human looking. So this Carl is more of the cartoon version Carl so so there's a little difference kind of like Homie the Clown a little difference but that's okay I guy okay well I guy shouldn't have a problem looking out you know or whoever's trying to attack him since he's got a billion eyes on him um huh. okay i got nothing for i guy I, I don't know anything about i guy um i guy somehow got downloaded so cool the mustard monster Mustard monster. Huh. Well, two characters in this rumble that are just kind of um, out there, I guess you could say. As Paul get rid of Carl? No, Carl is safe. Big Mama and the Mustard Monster. Mustard Monster into the corner. Paul with a knee and Carl is done homie eliminates Carl BAM is that two eliminations for Carl oh who eliminated Black Belt Jones I didn't even see that I was too busy looking at homie the clown using his rifle and homie ain't gonna play this no more See you down the road, homie. Big Mama taken down. I'm actually still impressed that Corey is still in this rumble. Number 10, we have Knight. What are you thinking, Paul? Okay, a knight in shining armor is in this rumble now. 
Well, I did say it's going to be random characters, so there you go. I mean, we got some weird eye guy. We got some mustard monster now. We got a knight. We have an alien. We have a man in drag. And a white guy thinking he's Michael Jackson. Hey. Let's see what else we can do for weirdness. From the future, we got Judge Dredd. All I remember about the original Judge Dredd movie with Stallone in it was Rob Schneider and him being tied up and Snyder would be all Mr. I am the law you know probably the funniest bit in the whole movie <coughs> excuse me anyways Paul takes down Big Mama the night is down Mustard and Corey number 12 Grandpa Munster From the Munsters. If anyone can get rid of this eye guy, I think it could be Grandpa. He has him up. Can he turn him over? Does he have enough strength? I mean, uh, you know, he just came in. I would have thought he had the strength to do that. So the eight participants we have in the ring at the moment. We have Corey Feldman. We have Grandpa Munster. We have Judge Dredd. The Mustard Monster, Paul the Alien, Big Mama, The Knight, and I Guy. The Knight gets down, the Knight gets right back up. And right after the Yellow Mustard Guy. Or the Mustard Monster. I don't know what I was thinking when I put him on this roster. Well, I guess like a couple seasons ago when we had the mascot rumble, um, we saw that ketchup guy for like a few rumbles. He did pretty well, so maybe this mustard monster will impress me and survive a while in this rumble and maybe show up in another rumble. And is Mama done? No, Big Mama is not done. Have any of you guys seen that movie, uh, Big Mama's House? I believe there was two of them. Um, I never saw any of them. Um, I've seen some Martin Lawrence movies, but that's one of the Martin Lawrence movies that I never watched. And Grandpa Monster down. The night is going to be power bombed here, probably. And yes, and he is stunned. Wow, Corey Feldman still in this. Paul still in this. Paul no stranger to rumbles. Paul's been around, I believe, since season one. Every now and then, he gets to be put in rumbles and... I don't know how he got into this one. I can't believe that I I missed that scene that he was in it. Or like I said, he just <laughs> kind of snuck in. But he's doing quite well for himself. So, way to go, Paul, who is stunned at the moment. Is this is it for Grandpa. Is this is it for Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd is safe. And Grandpa is safe. And Big Mama doesn't know what to do. What a knee from Judge Dredd. And is this it for Dredd? No. Hauls up. Eye Monster down. Mama down. Dredd in the corner. The Eye Monster down. The Knight almost down. Backbreaker on Big Mama from... The Mustard Monster and a second backbreaker. And what does Yellow Mustard or Mustard Monster have in store? Nothing. Is this it for what? Grandpa there in the corner? DDT from Corey Feldman.
Grandpa is safe from the night. But he still is going after the night. What a move from Paul. Impressive. But Dread right back up. And side Russian leg sweep on the Dread from Paul. Paul down from the eye monster. Eye guy. Headbutt from my guy to Judge Dread. Corey Feldman thrown into the corner from the Mustard Monster. And is this it for Corey? Is Corey going to be eliminated? Is anyone going to help this Mustard guy? And Paul gets rid of the Eye Monster. Or Eye Guy. Oh, Judge Dread almost got rid of Knight. But Knight survives. What a power slam from Mustard onto Feldman. Double headbutt from Paul onto Mustard and Grandpa. Big Mama has got to stun Judge Dread and into a Snake Eyes. What a knee. Ooh, Paul with a tombstone? No, Paul with a slam. Sorry about that. I had to get a drink. My voice was going out on me. Number 13, we have Eddie Munster. The great-grandson of Grandpa Monster. I like how they're in their black and white version still. Like how the original TV show was in black and white. So, let's, instead of colorizing these characters, let's keep it in black and white. Very creative on whoever created these monsters. We have Corey Feldman. We have Grandpa Monster. We have Judge Dredd. We have Mustard Monster. We have Paul the Alien. We have Big Mama. We have Knight. And we have Eddie Munster. Is Eddie Munster going to get rid of Paul? This is it for Paul. And Paul is done. And Grandpa Monster is in a sleeper. Big Mama misses with a clothesline. What a knee from the night. The Mustard Monster takes Corey down. Big Mama with the drop kick. Did she get it or did she miss it? That was kind of hard to tell. Mama hip tossed by Grandpa. Now Grandpa's going after his great grandson Eddie. Throws Eddie into the corner. Is he going to eliminate his grandson? Or his great grandson? Or was it his grandson? I believe it was his grandson, not his great-grandson. It was his grandson. Because Eddie was the son of Herman. So, yeah. So it's just his grandson, not his great-grandson. Number 14, we have Throg. Throg? Throg. It's a... Uh, a... Uh, frog wanting to be Thor okay if anyone knows what this is or what this is from please let me know <clears throat> we got bodies everywhere so much is going on. What a move from Throg. And is Mustard Monster going to finally get rid of Corey Feldman? Yes, he is. Goodbye, Corey.
Now we have the Mustard Monster and Big Mama. The Munsters after each other. Now the Mustard Monster and Eddie. The Knight, is he going to get rid of the, mon the Mustard Monster? He misses. He misses with that kick. And is this it? Is Mama going to get rid of Eddie? Can't tell. Mama's too big. That's why they call her Big Mama. No, Eddie is safe. Tombstone on Dread from Grandpa. And... Eddie is... Grandpa's done. And Eddie is done. Both the monsters have been eliminated at the same time. Number 15, we have Andy Griffiths. Do 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 And he's also black and white. Very amazing. I am very impressed with this. Dread done. It's like going back to TV land and watching old episodes of the Andy Griffith show and instead of colorizing into this world he decided to come into this world and stay black and white very very impressive and the night is done William Wallace from Braveheart. Oh, he doesn't have his war paint on. Uh, what was his speech? Something of freedom. That's all I remember. I saw that movie maybe once because we were forced to watch it in school. And... Um, yeah, I didn't really pay attention to that movie, so... Nope, no quotes from that movie. Sorry, guys. Star, star, D... Diego Chicken. Oh, the San Diego... Uh, San Diego Chicken. And is Mama going to get rid of the Mustard Monster? Turn him over, turn him over. If anyone can do it, it's Big Mama. No, not at this moment. Throg with a kick. And what a knee to the chest from Throg onto the San Diego chicken. And what a move, what a submission hold from Throg onto the chicken. Officer Andy Renko. Oh, from the 1980s uh, TV show, um, uh, uh, Hill Street Blues. Yes, you're probably thinking to yourselves, you're like, man, this guy is old. You know, growing up in the late 70s, 80s, and 90s, you just know, you know, you would watch all these old TV shows. They were always on. So, yes, I know a lot about these shows. David Banner. From the 1980s television show, The Incredible Hulk. Don't get David mad, or he'll turn green and turn into the Hulk. So we have Andy Griffith, we have William Wallace, we have Officer Andy Renko, Mustard Monster still, Throg, Big Mama, Dr. David Banner, and... The San Diego Chicken. David Banner is done. Chicken down. Mustard Monster down. Big Mama down. Andy Griffith down. And is this it for the officer? Is Big Mama going to get rid of him? No. 
What a move from Andy Griffith onto William Wallace. Now Throg wants a piece of Andy Griffith. And the officer is safe. And Throg is done. He got bounced out of there. Superman punch from Andy Griffith onto the Mustard Monster. And Big Mama and David Banner. And is David done? No, he is not. William Wallace, is he going to get rid of Big Mama with the Exploder? Yes, he does. Big Mama is done. Now David Banner throws Wallace into the corner. Kick after kick after kick after kick after kick after kick after kick. A high knee from Griff Andy Griffith to the Mustard Monster. Henry Limpit. Trivia for you guys. Can you tell me what Henry Limpit is from? Your younger generation people probably couldn't tell me, but maybe some of people more my age can actually tell me what this movie is, what that character, he gets rid of David Banner, by the way. Um, yes, this movie that Henry Limpet came from was way before my time, but yes, I did watch it as a kid. Number 21, we have Ben Matlock. Wow, we got all these old people shows in this. Wow. Uh, next thing we need is uh, Angela Lansbury for Murder, She Wrote. Then we would really have an old person show. Or um, uh, uh, characters from um, In the Heat of the Night, you know, or Perry Mason even. Yes, there are a lot of old people shows. But, you know what? You see these characters, you see, you know, of them. You may have never watched them, but if you know of them, you're going to put them in. That's what I do. And San Diego Chicken reverses the move from the monster, mustard monster. Number 22, we have Frankenstein. Andy Griffith misses. Oh, Andy Griffith is done. San Diego Chicken is safe. William Wallace eliminated. Anyways, um, back to this uh, Henry Limpet. It was a movie called The Amazing Henry Limpet. It was about this human uh, turned into a talking fish. Started out um, live action and then turned into an animated movie from Disney and uh, Limpet if I all oh, the mo the mustard monsters gone uh, Limpet helped uh, the Navy out under being a fish uh, that's all I remember of that uh, it's, it's been way 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 too long since I've seen that movie I don't think I could sit through it again as an adult but you never know and Frankenstein, done, just like that. From Airplane, we have Autopilot. Um, I believe we have had Autopilot. Auto in um, a previous rumble from maybe season one, possibly season two. But he's making a little comeback, trying to at least. And the chicken with the beautiful drop kick. Twenty-four. We have the UPS man. Well, are we gonna get the uh, FedEx guy next, or the Amazon driver next? Did someone order a package? Is UPS on time? 
Oh, Otto did not last at all. Henry got rid of Otto just like that. Oh, I don't think the UPS guy likes Henry. Oh, but Henry reverses it. Henry misses. Number 25, we have Herman Munster. His family members did not last, so let's see how he does. Oh, Ben Matlock is eliminated. And is this officer Andy Rinko, is he done? No, he is not. Herman Munster cannot do it. Have you, um, have any of you guys, let me know in the comments, seen uh, Rob Zombie's Munsters movie that he made about a year ago? Uh, let me know. Barney Fife from the Andy Griffith Show is in, and check it out. Once again, black and white, beautiful. And the funny thing about this is when we had Andy Griffith in, Ben Matlock came in, Andy Griffith played Ben Matlock, and we have Barney Fife in this, and Barney Fife, whose real name is Don Knotts, played the voice of, and the acting in Henry Limpet. Amazing that they're in the ring at the same time. Nicholas Cage, 97, number 27. The Con Air version of Nicholas Cage. Con Air, I would have to say, is one of my favorite of all time Nicholas Cage movies. That besides Raising Arizona. Oh, Barney Fife is done. Barney Fife didn't last at all. Number 28, Howard the Duck. Oh, it looks like the, this version of Howard the Duck was from the 1986 version movie of Howard the Duck. Not the Marvel's version, but the actual movie. The movie that I watched when I was growing up. Where Howard came from his world and got into some place in America and started being with a rock musician chick and they went after some kind of weird ugly creature that was dressed in human form. So in three seconds we're gonna get number 29 from Sanford and Son, Fred Sanford, Red Fox himself, Elizabeth, I'm coming, or however he said it, every time you try to have a heart attack, anyways, we have Nicholas Cage from Con Air, we have the UPS man, we have Officer Andy Rinko, Herman Munster, Henry Limpet, Howard the Duck, Fred Sanford, and the San Diego Chicken. And whoever gets eliminated will have one more participant in this rumble. But who is going to be number 30? This has been a surprising rumble so far. It's been a good rumble. Uh, ooh. Henry with a low blow to the UPS man. Ever since the UPS man came in, him and Henry have not seen eye to eye. UPS man stunned. Nicholas Cage is stunned. We got a chicken and a fish after each other now. We got a duck after the UPS guy. We got an officer after uh, Frankenstein. Things are just crazy in this rumble, guys. What a reversal from Nicholas Cage. Now, um, what was Nicolas Cage's name in Con Air? Little trivia for you guys. Will anyone answer that question in the comments? We'll see when this video comes out.
Nicolas Cage goes right after the arms and the fingers of the San Diego chicken. Henry into the corner from Sanford. Sanford down. Nicholas Cage gets Herman down. Henry and Officer Andy. UPS and Fred. San Diego Chicken and Herman. Howard the Duck and Nicholas Cage. And Nicholas Cage just kind of tripped over his own feet there, it looked like. And Officer Andy Rinko is done. We got a duck and a chicken now after each other. I was like, wait a minute, Howard, how come you're not going after the big guy? But he did. He finally decided to go after Herman. Once again, Henry and the UPS guy. What is it with Henry and the UPS guy not liking each other? They, out of all the brawls in this Royal Rumble, it looks like Henry and the UPS guy have really gotten after each other the most. Now the UPS guy goes after Nicolas Cage. And Henry is going to be safe. What a dropkick from the chicken onto Herman. San Diego chicken and Henry. And what a move from Nicolas Cage. Neckbreaker from Andy onto the chicken. What a Frankensteiner type move from Howard the Duck onto Nicolas Cage. Fred gives UPS man and Herman Monster a headbutt. Oh, the San Diego chicken got eliminated. I did not see who eliminated him. You look away for two seconds and all of a sudden someone gets eliminated and you don't see who did that. And this is it for UPS Man. UPS Man is going to be safe. So anticipation for number 30 is upon us. Who is it going to be? Which mystery person is it going to be? Is it someone we've seen before in a rumble? Or is it going to be a whole new character? Oh, when the clock counts down, we're going to find out. Oh, Henry is eliminated. And Officer Andy is eliminated. So in five seconds, we're going to find out who number 30 is. Oh, Nicolas Cage is eliminated. Count Von Count. What? Count Von Count? Wait a minute. That's not Count Von Count. That's not a Muppet. That's a human pretending to be a Muppet. I call imposter. I was hoping for a real Count Von Count. The actual Muppet from Sesame Street. Not this fake purple looking guy. I'm very disappointed that we did not get the real Count Von Count in this rumble. But we must move on. So we have the UPS man, we have Herman Munster, we have Howard the Duck, we have Fred Sanford, and we have Count Von Count, the imposter. And Fred Sanford is stunned. Howard the Duck with a kind of a reverse drop kick there, it looked like. And what a suplex from Herman Munster onto Howard the Duck. And the UPS guy in the corner. Howard the Duck and the imposter Count Von Count. And the Count in the corner. Fred Sanford is done. Okay, the UPS man missed whatever he was trying to do to the Count. Our final four, UPS Man, Herman Munster, Howard the Duck, and the imposter, Count Von Count. And you know what's going to happen here, my friends. The imposter, Count Von Count, will probably win this rumble just because he's an imposter. And I'm very disappointed 
and how this count long count turned out. So I'm supposed to not be biased on anything, but I'm on someone to get rid of this count. I wouldn't even mind seeing the UPS man win this rumble. As long as the count doesn't. Way to go, Howard. What a beautiful neck breaker. And a UPS man trying to get rid of Herman. But I don't think he can do it. He doesn't have the strength. He doesn't have the ability. From an elbow to the head to a big boot to the head. And now an electric chair. UPS man is down. Sidewalk slam from Herman Monster onto Howard the Duck. The Count and Herman. Oh, no, no. Come on, Howard, get rid of the Count. Get rid of him. Oh, man. Herman's done. We have the UPS man. We have Howard the Duck, and we have Count Bound Count. Yay. What a miss from the Count. What a stomp from the UPS man. An abdominal stretch from Howard onto the UPS man. And he tapped out. Howard made him tap out. Howard in the corner. Elbow from the count. This is with a knee or a boot. But Howard counters. Bulldog from Howard. Now pick him up and eliminate him. Don't worry about the UPS man. The UPS man can take care of himself. And the UPS man misses and Howard counters with a knee to the face. And Howard throws the UPS man to the corner. And both Count and Howard miss. And the Count into the corner. Come on, Howard. Get him up. Get him up. Come on, Howard. You can do it. You have the strength. Believe in yourself, Howard. Let's get rid of the count. Okay, let's not get rid of the count. Round the world, the count went into an arm ringer onto Howard the Duck. Howard gets out of it. And is this it for the count? Drop kick. Yes! Howard the Duck got rid of the imposter, Count Von Count. That's right, Howard. Take a second there to celebrate. You deserve it, buddy. We're down to the UPS man and Howard the Duck. Let's go, Howard. And Howard the Duck wins. What a rumble. I was sweating there, guys. I really thought the count was going to win it. And I would have been very disappointed in this imposter count winning this rumble. But Howard the Duck has done it. Howard the Duck is going to the championship rumble at the end of the season. We'll see him then. But before that, we still have plenty of rumbles to go this season. This is only rumble number three of season five. We still got 27 more to go. I hope you enjoyed this rumble. I hope you guys had a great one don't forget to um, like subscribe comment whatever you guys want to do thank you again for watching every day I appreciate each and every one of you thank you so much I'll talk to you guys real soon take care